So this is kind of a hard video to make, but let's jump right in. You know, really one of the worst parts about living in Atlanta, Georgia, is that the school districts here in Atlanta just aren't very good. I mean, there are some parts of the city of Atlanta, and it's really in the suburbs that have good schools, but the majority of the school districts here are not great. I mean, if you look at, you know, the city of Atlanta, some of those school districts are a four or a five out of 10 on greatschools.org. You know, and then you look at some of the southern cities, some of the suburbs in the southern part of Metro Atlanta, and same thing for those schools, four or five, sometimes a three out of 10. And that really is something that we have to do a better job of here in Atlanta. I mean, these schools are sometimes pretty rough. I mean, and if you go into the southern part of Georgia, I mean, way south, south Georgia, those schools are really bad, you know, and it's just that they just don't have the resources. I mean, the teachers don't have the resources. The schools don't have the resources, which means the students don't have the resources. And, you know, again, it's not all the parts of Metro Atlanta. I mean, some of these suburbs that we talk about, you know, Alpharetta, Marietta, they have good schools. They have really, you know, excellent schools. But the problem is, is it's not all of the suburbs. It's, it's not in the city of Atlanta. And we really got to ask ourselves, why? Why does Alpharetta have 10 out of 10 schools and Marietta has 10 out of 10 schools, but the rest of the state of Georgia has four out of 10 schools? You know, what are we doing in some of those other suburbs that the schools aren't improving? And so that's definitely right off the bat, one of the parts about Atlanta, Georgia, that I hate. And I just hope that, you know, if we can talk about these things, ideally we'll shed some light on some of these issues here in Atlanta, because the truth is, is we do have issues here in Atlanta. And if we don't do something about it, we'll just continue to sweep these things under the rug. And we really need to see some change. We really need to see some action in the city of Atlanta about some of these issues. So hopefully we can see some kind of improvement in these issues in Atlanta going forward. But if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta, these really are some things that you really do need to know about. Historically speaking, the jobs in the southern part of the United States just don't pay as well as other parts of the United States. It's just been something that uh, has been going on for decades. In Georgia specifically, maybe it has something to do with the cost of living being so low here, but I don't think that that's a justifiable reason going forward, really, that the world is becoming a smaller place and especially so many people working virtually. You know, if you're thinking about transferring your job to Atlanta, you may need to keep in mind that it's just always been a thing here in Georgia and in the South that employers just don't pay as much here in Georgia. And that certainly is uh, one of the worst parts about living in Atlanta. So a lot of people know that in 2020 and in 2021, the housing market really like exploded and there was so many people trying to buy, uh, which made home values go up a lot. But what I think a lot of people don't realize is that yes, home values went up all around the country, but in Atlanta, home values went up specifically more than other parts of the country. Atlanta was one of the hottest real estate markets in all of the country. And part of that is because so many people are working virtually. So many people could transfer their jobs here to Atlanta, which is great. And the cost of living here is low, but you need to know that the cost of living here is rising very fast and we are slowly but surely catching up to some of the other major metropolitan cities of the United States. Home values in Metro Atlanta went up maybe 20, 25% in the last two years, which is astronomically high. And you gotta think like, is that sustainable? Uh, I don't know. Another thing that I hate about living in Atlanta is the amount of fraud that we have here. Now, it may sound surprising, but that really is a problem here in Atlanta. In 2017, there was a data breach with a company called Equifax. And where is Equifax located? 
here in Atlanta. Also, a report in 2022 states that Georgia is the eighth worst state when it comes to business fraud. Also, I've heard of identity theft being a very common problem in Metro Atlanta, you know, and I'm not sure why that is, you know, maybe that has to do with Equifax having been here in Atlanta when they had that data leak, uh, you know, lots of people's personal information was leaked out to the public. Maybe it has to do with Atlanta so rapidly growing and the population of Atlanta growing so quickly, you know, maybe that has attracted a lot of different fraud situations, but that apparently is a big issue here in Atlanta and something you certainly need to be aware of if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta. Of course, the traffic here in Atlanta is really bad and people will oftentimes think, oh, well, that's just kind of like rush hour traffic. No, it's like traffic all the time. I mean, northbound, southbound, weekends, evenings, rush hour. We just have traffic here, especially on the interstates almost all the time. The, the thing is, is that the main interstates that run through Atlanta are 7585, which go north and south, I-20, which goes east and west, and then we have Interstate 285, which goes in a circle around the city of Atlanta. And so these are really the main thoroughfares through and around Atlanta, but is not enough to keep up with the growing population of Atlanta. And so there just happens to be traffic here all the time. And you can do some things to try to avoid that traffic. I mean, it is slightly worse during rush hour. So if you live in the city of Atlanta and you work in the suburbs, ideally you would be going north in the mornings to work when most of the traffic is going south and vice versa in the evenings. Ideally, you'd be traveling south back home when most of the traffic is going north. And that's a common strategy for a lot of people who are thinking about living in Atlanta. Again, you kind of live in the city of Atlanta and then work on the outskirts. So you get to avoid some of that traffic. But the truth is the traffic in Atlanta here is almost all the time. During 2020, you know, when people weren't working in the office as much, it was like a huge relief for so many people. I mean, the traffic in Atlanta was almost completely gone during 2020 and like the beginning parts of 2021. But now that most people are working back in the office, traffic is back and it is just as bad as ever before. Another thing that I hate about living in Atlanta is that overall, it's not very walkable. You know, a lot of people will call me and say they're thinking about moving to Metro Atlanta and they're wanting to live in an area where they can walk to the grocery store and walk to the shops and restaurants, things like that. While there are a few places like that where you can walk around to most of your destinations, it's just not very common here in Atlanta. If you're going to live in Metro Atlanta, it's almost for sure that you need to have a vehicle. They have places in downtown, like Midtown Atlanta, you can maybe get away with not having a vehicle. But the thing about living in Atlanta is, you know, you could maybe get away with not having a vehicle to walk to grocery stores and things like that. But what are you gonna haul groceries back to your house without a vehicle? I mean, it's just not very practical, you know? And what if you need to go somewhere that is farther away in the city? I mean, you can take Marta, but FYI, MARTA is not awesome. MARTA is the public transportation system that we have here in Atlanta, and um, it's not super popular. So for the most part, if you're going to live in Atlanta or especially in the suburbs of Atlanta, you're going to need a vehicle because it's not a very walkable place to live. Another thing that I hate about living in Atlanta is that the airport here is located on the southern part of Metro Atlanta, where most of the population is on the northern part of Metro Atlanta. So to get to the airport, it's really at least an hour drive uh, to get there. And then on top of that, the Atlanta airport, which is called Hartsfield Jackson International Airport, has the worst layout. There's really only one entrance to all of the terminals. We're talking about the busiest airport maybe in the world, and there's one entrance to get to all of the terminals. If you're thinking about taking a flight there in Atlanta, most people will get to Atlanta airport 
three hours in advance before their flight. Just to get through security can sometimes take 30 minutes to an hour. Everybody who is taking a flight at the airport has to go through the one main security checkpoint. So yeah, overall, the Atlanta airport just sucks and is really not a great experience. Again, if you're thinking about taking a flight there, you really have to give yourself a lot of time, not just traveling to the airport, but getting through the airport and to your plane. Another thing that I absolutely hate about living in Atlanta is the amount of humidity that we have here during the summertime. It is like a sauna sometimes, especially in like July and August, you know, 90, 95 degrees isn't too bad, but when you couple that with 100% humidity is the worst. The humidity here absolutely sucks. And then during the springtime, you know, we have a lot of trees here in Metro Atlanta. We have a lot of pine trees and pine trees produce a lot of pollen. Uh, so in general, in the springtime, we have a lot of pollen and a lot of allergens. So people with uh, seasonal allergies like myself, tend to not do so great with those kinds of seasonal allergies from the pollen and from other things. And so that really is one of the worst parts about living in Atlanta. Fortunately, Metro Atlanta isn't all bad. We do have a lot of benefits to living here. If you wanna know what I love about living in Atlanta, click on this video. See you there.